In this video, we've got the final condition uh, with respect to the standard equation of the circle. That is, uh, what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin and the center lies on the y-axis. If you do remember, in the previous video, we did the same thing, but then the center lied on the x-axis. In this case, the center will lie on the y-axis. So let's see the diagrammatical representation of this condition now. All right, here we are with the diagram. What happens when a circle passes through the origin? Here it is. And then when the center lies exactly on the y-axis, what happens is that you you have this the distance between the fixed I mean the center of the circle and the moving point, right? The moving point in this case is co it's coinciding with the or, or the origin here. So this will become a obviously, right? This is a, but then you also should uh, note that that a happens to be on the y-axis, so the y-coordinate becomes a. And the x coordinate is zero because the center lies exactly on the y axis, and then there is no what can you say? There is nothing, it lies on the zero of x axis, so definitely the x coordinate is going to be zero. So, the major change as far as um, the standard equation of the circle when this condition uh, is that uh, h equals zero and k equals to a. So, this is the change. So, the standard equation is like h uh, x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals a square, right? So in this case, the h becomes 0. So we have x minus 0 the whole square plus y minus k is a. So it'll be y minus a the whole square equal to a square. So it'll be x square plus y square plus a square minus 2ay equals a square. a square, a square gets cancelled and we have x square plus y square minus 2ay equal to 0. So therefore, x square plus y square minus 2ay equal to 0 is the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin and the center lies on the y-axis. Alright, so that uh, finally concludes the various conditions uh, with respect to the standard equation of the circle. And um, I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on all the concepts that we did.